everybody. My name is Jin, and here we have Jay. Jay. And we got Junior as well. Wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> So if you don't know, we are Canadians, born and raised in Canada, but we moved to Jamaica. It's August 2024. It'll we'll make two years since officially living in Jamaica. So if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video. You guys, I'm sweating. And follow along our journey because uh, Jamaica's just so beautiful. Today, Jazari said he wants pizza, but he wants homemade pizza. So he wants to go to Falmouth and he said he wants to push the shopping cart to go and pick up all the ingredients to make homemade pizza. We did it before and I didn't really like the pepperonis on it. So I don't know how I feel about doing it again. The time's already counting down. It's getting like late, it's evening time. So I'm telling him that it's too late. And I don't know if he um, is gonna understand that. So for now, we're just down at a shop. It's gonna go on chill back for like a couple minutes and then I'll see how it goes from there. But enjoy the vloggy vlog. Time winded down on us so we couldn't get to farm in time so we're gonna try to make our way today today is saturday so i'm going to finish getting ready get jazari ready and then hop on the road jump in a taxi and head on over to farm but um i was about to start styling my hair and it's like chasing me off i need to um perm the edges so i'm going to do that with you guys on camera before I leave because I like to be able to slay my hair and when when it's like my natural hair is like this when the perm grows out it's so hard for me to like slick down my edges and stuff so yeah let's go do my hair To get this started, I'm just going to put my hair up. And then I like to pull down the baby hairs. Just so I know what exactly to touch the brush with. <music> Guys, when I first did this, I was so scared. Like, I was so nervous. I had bought the perm from so long ago, and I said I just can't do it. Because I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't perm my hair. But then when you realize that, like... It's not that serious. It becomes much easier to do. Now the water is gone from the tap, which means if I turn on the tap right now, there's gonna be no water. So in these big blue bins, the barrels that I brought up from Canada, I collect water in them. So that way I'll use that to wash out my hair, but I'm gonna let this sit for a good amount of time 
and I just took a shower. If I had remembered to do this before my shower, I would have did my entire perimeter. The struggle is real right now. I haven't shampooed. I haven't done anything. I just rinsed out some of the perm. And because there's no water at the top, I'm freaking struggling. I'll never do this again. <laughs> I just ended up washing my entire head. I was trying to avoid that, but... Alright, I am done. So I'm just going to quickly style my hair. It's soaking wet, but the sun will dry that super fast. So my new style, my new go-to is this little half up half down business. And then I put this part into a bun because it got too long. Like before I used to just leave it out and hang like that. But they're just too long now. So yeah, it used to be like right here. I don't know if you guys remember, but now they hang too much in my face. So what I like to do is give it a light braid. The braid doesn't have to be neat. It's literally just to get away all the little short straggly pieces. Like this. So I guess that didn't work. But anyways, then you're just going to take that and just keep wrapping it till you are satisfied and then just drop an elastic around it. Okay, so there's my elastic. And then what I'm going to do is my edges and go through the door. Alright. I leave some edges and I'll get it back. Which one do you guys prefer? The big frame because I am wearing my pink croc. So do you guys prefer the big one? The little one? Comment below right now because you guys are going to see the rest of the vlog for which one I chose or these ones. Comment below. I'm going to go fix my edges. So Desari has on his outfit. Want to tell them what you're wearing today? Yeah. Show them your outfit. I'm wearing a dinosaur shirt with dinosaur real shirt. nice shorts. Nice. And what kind of shoes do you got on? Yeah. Good job. Where are you going? To farmer. Farmer. Yeah. It's time to make some pizza at home. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So this is my finished look. Me and my bop bop. We're gonna go to farmer now and go get the ingredients to make his pizza. pizza. <laughs> I'm so annoyed that my tooth is still hurting. If you've ever gotten your wisdom teeth out, comment down below how long it took you to heal. Or how long it took you to heal. Because um, today's Saturday. On Tuesday, it'll be two weeks. That's a lot of damn days. That's 14 days. Like, what the f Hey, guys. You made it to Donkey now. Do you want to say Hi. So before we <clears throat> head on over to Farmland, I got to stop at the ATM in Canada. It's ATM, but I'm gonna get some quick cash. Hold that for me. And then we're gonna hop in the taxi. You guys, we are currently located in Champion, Fama. Uh, what is the first pizza we're going to get? Uh, maybe we could start off with the pita. 
So the bread that we're gonna put the pizza on. Oh. You guys were following a little TikTok. We've seen them put the pita and then the tomato sauce and then cheese and some meat. So we're gonna see what we can find in here. Last time we did, we found everything in here, but everything's just overpriced in this shop. And I just don't think that the um, supermarkets have certain things that I'll be looking for, but we could still check. We won't have to check. For some reason, I can't find anything. Like, I can't find the pitas. I'm pretty sure the cheese is somewhere over here. I'm pretty sure the last time we got here, it was over here. It was over here? Yeah. Oh. kind of like sausages and stuff that we bought last time and then we just sliced them into pepperoni but I didn't like it <laughs> like being completely honest it was too like I don't know it was just not pizza like here's some wraps but why are they in the fridge Sorry. Come here. I'm seeing something that's even better. This seems even better. Open the fridge and we close one first box. The one, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we can use something like that. Is it hard? Or is it soft? And if it's too big, if we make this, then we can slice it up. This feels... Maybe because it's frozen. Maybe like if we start making it and it thaws out, then it will. Or we can get this pita bread. This is a lot smaller and it's brown. No, I don't think you're gonna like that. No, I don't think that's the right one. No, I remember what pita is. Pita is like more for like a wrap because you could open it and it's gonna be like very airy. <clears throat> I'm wondering if this one would do it because this one says more bread. Let's just try. Want to try it? Yeah. Want to try this one, the panini bread? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything else is pita. So we're going to try this, guys. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. I see sausages, but I don't know if these are the right ones. I don't. I don't think I like. There's the big one, turkey. You don't need. It's gonna be like a waste. We need to just get something small to just. Yeah, like what you said, pepperoni. But this is not the right pepperoni. And then we have all the cheeses. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick some right now, and then I'll tune in after, guys. Or maybe I should go to the supermarket and buy a big brick of cheese and just shred it myself. I'll keep you guys posted. BRB. Are you guys seeing the prices of the Eggo waffles? $1,160, guys. Up here we have $1,200, which is $1,000, guys. That's literally about 12, 13 bucks Canadian. <laughs> $13 for some waffles, okay? This is why I tell you guys, you have to know how to price match because certain things are overpriced here and certain things is you save a lot of money. Like right now, I don't know which one of these to go with because I'm thinking to go to the supermarket and try to find one for even cheaper. Because, yeah. I don't want to say it's recession time, but you know what I'm going to say. So, yeah. Cheese. I'm going to see how much they are. Um, let's go back this way to look for the meat. What'd you say? 
Make your YouTube over there, alright? Say it one more time. Make your YouTube over there, alright? Over there, sir? Yeah. Alright, Jamaican. <laughs> I tried to catch that on camera for you guys. But, um, hmm. so much but like, I just think this is the one that we bought last time this same one see almost ten dollars just for this and it was such a waste and they didn't taste good we just need like one of this and I don't even eat I don't even want pepperoni I'll just eat like a cheese slice but where's the pepperoni it's right here I found it these are all these all can be pepperoni but I don't like these ones I'm gonna circle back in the fridges again and see if I can find another one. Show them what we got in the car. Okay, so we got the bread so far. Everything that we're trying this time is new because um, the last time we tried it, it was good, it turned out good, but why not try something better, right? So we're gonna basically compare the two. So, um, yeah, that's a pepperoni. And then I'm gonna ask them the prices of both of these cheeses and see which one's better. Cause I could just shred up my own cheese, and then like Josari said, I found this from right here, and I believe it's two twenty-five, and this, this is, is chicken bologna. Bologna. I don't know what it is. This, hmm? is, this is the wrong cheese. It's the wrong cheese? Yeah. That is the same cheese as in here, I think. No, no, no. Put it, put it back. But I'm gonna see how much it is, cause I could shred it and make it look like that one. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's go. And then they also have chicken sausage. But like I said, I don't want so much. So I hope that tastes good. Here is another price match. Mr. Noodles. So as you guys can see, one is for 135. And three is for 385. Look what I found, guys. <laughs> Josari says we need it, we need it. So of course, we're gonna find the cheapest one. 1300, this one is 613 again, which means this is like $6. Oh, Anything to make him happy, because if it was me alone, I would just use my knife. So, All right, we're struggling to find tomato paste, but we can't give up yet. If However, there's none in here. We're still going to the supermarket. So let's see what we can do. Excuse me. Do you sell tomato paste? Like tomato yes. sauce? Down here? Yes. Oh, come. No, no, no. Come, come, come. Oh. So there's multiple different sauces to choose from. Yes. That one's too big. I was thinking to go with something like this. But then I'm seeing this one that says pizza. There's two of them. Okay. And then also we can use, where did I see it? Right here, Del Monte sauce. Okay, so we're gonna, Josari wants this one. They both say pizza, so we can just check the price on both of these and go with that. All right. All right, so, so far we only have bread, cheese. Oh, we have everything now. So what we need to do is just price match and see the better way. And then we're still gonna go to the supermarket to see if things are just cheaper on that side or if we did the right thing here. We got all the stuff we need. We got the thing, we got that, 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 and we got How much was the bread? So the bread is like $16. Oh, there it is at the top. So all together, $3,900, right? All right, guys, here, hold this. That's much better than the last time. Last time we spent like 5000 to get stuff to make pizza. And now, I told you guys, we shop smart this time. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you, that's right. Technically, we don't even need to go to the supermarket because we have all the ingredients in here. But we're still gonna go and compare. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
guys, the sun is super hot outside, so you guys are not going to see me walking to the camera my hand. Mm -hmm. So we'll tune back in when we reach the supermarket. So as I mentioned before, you know it's serious that Jazari really wants to make his pizza because usually he would just ask to go to Pizza Hut, which is right there. He actually really wants to make this pizza. <laughs> oh gosh. So you really have to get some pizza candy. What's yeah. up with you and all this pizza? I love pizza. Gosh. This man got the pizza candy. The struggle is real. Like it's melting already and i tried to stop and get more cheese because obviously this doesn't look like enough but we're gonna do with what we can right now so yeah it's grated the cheese Papa. Right. 
Can we just stop again? You could go ahead. I'll tell you for sure. Mm -hmm. Can you use the spoon and move it around a little bit? Do. That's what you're gonna do? Yeah. Okay. Looks like you need more. Don't go too close to the edges. Remember, pizza has like the crust, remember? What crust? The crust. Remember the part that you hold to bite? Oh. Yeah, they don't have sauce up here, remember? So this part's messy. It's okay. You're still learning, right? Yeah. Okay. You think you need more sauce? No. I think you need just a little bit because you can still see the bread. Something like that. All right, so I'm gonna make Josiah do his own thing. And then over here, I'm gonna start my own because I've seen some things saying that the air fryer can do this. And then I also seen people doing it on the stove top. So I'm going to actually experiment and see which one is better. Leave a comment below. How would you do this homemade pizza? In the air fryer oh, or oh, on the stove top? Come, come. Look. Hey! That's a lot of cheese. You found a good one! <laughs> yeah. Alright, you can go ahead and put some cheese on yours. Okay, I'm gonna find the flour and put on the cheese. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why you would you put it on that one? Is it because that one's gonna be yours? Mm hmm. That's enough for mine because he needs some more on his. So, looks like we're only going to be making two pizzas today because the cheese is done. But cheese is easy to get. Oh, so, mm -hmm. After when you turn this cheese, I'm going to put on back the salt and the cheese. Oi, man. All right. So now we got the two pizzas. I'm gonna go ahead and make the circle slices for the pepperoni out of this chicken. All right, y'all, so I have this blue cap that seems like the right size for that look. So I'm going to try it is starting yeah. to look so good. It's starting to look so good? Yeah. So I'm just going to take it, push down. And there you have it. <laughs> that worked easy. There you go. All right, bop bop. I'm just making some more. All right. Oh, I got some sauce on the side. So we put Jazari's in the air fryer. There's mine. We're gonna try that on the stove top. Let's see how it does in there and how this does on the stove. Lego. Ooh, so it's starting to melt. But I want it to go a little bit longer. It looks like it could eat right now too, but I'm gonna see if we can get it in there a little bit longer. And that's only been four minutes, guys. 
for this stove top. Oh, no progress. This has only been in here for literally like a minute. I just put this in here. It's not burning. Let this marinate in here a little bit longer. So the stove top sucks. Like the stove top wasn't melting the cheese or even cooking the little meat chicken pepperoni thingies. So while Jazari's is still hot, I'm gonna get him to cut his pizza and in the meantime, mine is now getting ready in here. And I believe I have a small air fryer. So if you have a bigger air fryer, feel free to try this route because we're about to do a taste test real soon. And yeah, yeah, it's time for you to cut it, come. Can I use this? Yeah, but do it on the real cut. Yeah, just, you know, take your time. We'll start from right here. Like that. Mm. And then roll it across. Mm -mm. Okay, wait, you're not set good. That's why. Right. Hold it like a... Mm -mm. No, next way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Then you turn it like that. And then he's gonna do it again. Okay, so there you have it. He's just gonna leave his well I'm gonna leave it in four pieces. Three? Okay? Yeah. Ooh, look at that cheese pull. Is it good? You guys are gonna make this. Don't make this. You guys gotta make this. It tastes so good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Cochise! <laughs> I guess it's safe to say mission accomplished. So this is for our thumbnail picture for you guys to click on the YouTube to actually watch it. So, smile! Alright! So I actually cut mine in smaller triangles. I don't know why I said square. Ooh. Time for my taste test. It's hot. Sarko! Mm-hmm. 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 You guys, make your pizza. Something for you and your children to do. <coughs> Say thank you for watching the video. And for watching the video. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like and subscribe and comment. And mommy, how old you told him to make this? Okay. So tell him subscribe. Subscribe and like and comment. Like and comment, okay. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.